Welcome back. Welcome for the first time, right? You're going to be in one of those two categories. That's what we lawyers do, right? We categorize things, put things into the proper framing. Maybe, maybe not all of us. Today, I want to discuss with you uh, a situation that I had to diagnose. So I uh, was given an email, uh, had it come to me. An attorney, colleague of mine, recommended me to another attorney that had the need of a, an attorney in probate. So the issue is that the will that was prevented for probate looks like it was a cut and paste job. And it says like, John Smith leaves, you know, all of his estate to John Smith. How could that be? Meaning himself. What it seemed to be is that there must have been a husband and wife will at one point, right? Jane Smith would leave everything to John Smith and John Smith would leave everything to Jane Smith, depending on who passed away first. And I guess in the preparation of that will, one will was done first, and then they tried to do uh, an edit and replace, and they messed up. So now that will is either going to be challenged or they anticipate a challenge. There's at least a concern with the will. So some of the questions that you need to ask are, who prepared the will? When was the will prepared? Were the wills prepared at the same time? Maybe giving in an indication that um, one spouse has passed away now, right? So that's the situation. So who did the will? Was it an attorney draftsman or was it um, an internet staples job? Or uh, I don't know, or someone just tried to type on a, uh, a word processing document, taking an attorney drawn will and typing it, right, trying to make another one. I don't know that yet, but that is a question that you need to identify. Who did the will? An attorney or a lay person, a regular civilian? Uh, when was it done? Were the wills done at the same time or uh, you know, close in proximity or distant and uh, after months or years? Um, and does it make sense what it's saying? So if it's, um, if the wife's will was, you know, uh, if I die, everything goes to my husband, John Smith. And if John Smith's will said, if I die, everything goes to my wife, John Smith, right? Making an error, we might be able to do something with that, right? Because it's John Smith's natural bounty is not himself. Well, it would be his children, but his, his natural heir would be the wife. I'm going to talk myself right out of this question. But if you'd like me to review your situation, go over your fact pattern, please reach out. FrankBrunoLaw.com